I am loving. I am fabulous. I am beautiful. I am saved. I am a victor. I am faithful. I am devout. I am accepted. I am a Christian. I am MCC. Yes, and I am MCC. I am MCC. I am MCC. And I am MCC. 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 Our contemporary reading is taken from the book Radical Generosity by M.J. Ryan. We are all generous to greater or lesser degrees, and we are all generous in different realms. We've learned to be open-hearted in some areas but not in others. It's good to take stock of just where and when we are and aren't generous. Once we've become conscious of our habits, we have more freedom to change them if we desire. People who have trouble saying no take on too much and end up bitter and burned out. This kind of giving is not giving at all. It is a compulsion that usually comes from a lack of self-worth. They are so afraid of the disapproval of the other person making the request that they must say yes. As a result, they have never experienced generosity, which comes from an overflow of a sense of caring, not compulsion. Our scripture reading is taken from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, starting from verse 30 all the way to verse 38. We are reading from the NRSV translation. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him, when they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling us today. May the words we receive inspire us, comfort us, and challenge us to live a generous life. Amen. We continue with our Advent Reflection Series, Radical Generosity, guided by the book of M.J. Ryan. And for this Sunday, we are reflecting on uh, not giving as giving. Not giving is giving. Ang hindi pagbibigay ay minsan pagbibigay. Pwede ba yun, Pastor? Nagbibigay ka sa pamamagitan ng hindi pagbibigay? Yes. Yes, not giving is a form of giving when you do it intentionally and with a purpose. But of course, it is not an excuse or replacement to be selfish. MJ Ryan tells us that all of us are both generous and withholding. Nagbibigay at hindi nagbibigay. The difference is whether we are aware of our habits and attitudes of giving and withholding. Not giving our time, talent, and treasure has to be intentional. Not giving our attention, presence, effort, Time, understanding, and affection has to be with a clear purpose and based also on generosity. There were times that even Jesus said no without even saying the actual word. 
without even saying the actual word no. In our scripture, in our scripture reading today, we are told that the people of Capernaum, the hometown of Simon Peter, and some of the other disciples were looking for Jesus early in the morning. The previous day, Jesus did many miraculous healings in the town, including, including the, mad, the mother-in-law of Simon Peter. And it is safe to guess or assume that the people were looking for him the next day because they wanted him to stay with them and to continue his healing ministry in that particular town, the town of Capernaum. Sa totoo lang, ang ginawa ni Jesus ay tumakas siya. Nung lahat ay tulog pa, maagang maaga, siya ay umalis, tumakas. Um, and when the disciples finally found him, they said, Everyone is looking for you. Hinahanap ka ng lahat. But instead of going back, Jesus said to them that they should rather go to the other towns and villages to proclaim the good news uh, to proclaim the good news this effectively meant that jesus that jesus said enough tama na muna sa caperno jesus said no to the people of capernaum in order for him to be in order for him to go to other places and other peoples. There is good and greater reason why Jesus had to go and not get stuck in Capernaum. Not to give in to every demand and request of every villager in Capernaum. After all, it did not mean that Jesus will no longer be back. Hindi man ibig sabihin nun na pag nagno si Jesus at umalis muna siya to go to other towns ay hindi maibig sabihin noon hindi na siya babalik sa Capernaum. And scholars do agree that Capernaum became the new hometown and perhaps the the base of the Jesus ministry after being rejected from his own hometown of Nazareth. So nung nung tinakwil o tinanggihan si Jesus sa sarili niyang bayan ng Nazareth, scholars would say that Capernaum is, became the new home, the new hometown of Jesus. Not giving is sometimes giving. In this case, Jesus had to say no without necessarily saying those word, that word, to the unending needs. Jesus had to say no to the unending needs of the town of Capernaum in order for Jesus to be available for the to be available for others. Even Jesus, limited by his full humanity, had to say no. But Jesus saying no was not simply out of personal and selfish reasons. Jesus is the most generous of us all. Hindi, pag si Jesus ay nagsasabi ng no, hindi ibig sabihin no na na yun ay dahil sa mga personal o makapang sariling dahilan. Jesus was the most generous of, of us all and Jesus taught us what it meant to give your life for others. So, what are the reasons and situations for you, for me, for us, to say no? Para huminde. In order for generosity to continue. In order for blessing to flow. There are bad reasons and situations where we definitely have to say no. And there are good reasons why we should say no. Unahin muna natin yung good reasons. Good reasons to say no. Number one, saying no for proper rest 
and renewal. Even Jesus had to get away from the crowd, either by himself or with a few of his closest disciples, in order to rest and pray. When you have already given your time, talent, presence, effort, financial resources, pag-intindi, pag-unawa, oras, panahon, lakas, no, na, naibibigay mo na lahat-lahat. When you know that you are living a generous life, an open life, every single day, you have to be able to set a time and space for yourself to rest, to pray, and to spend time, even leisurely time, with your friends and your family, your loved ones. But this is also not an excuse because it can be an excuse or justification and without realizing it, too much rest and leisure for oneself has become your norm. Norm, as sad to say, for some, uh, the norm for laziness or selfishness na maybe hindi kayo fully aware. And maybe there is something more happening to you when you use rest and leisure as an excuse and perhaps you need to check. You check yung sarili nyo if you already have some form of depression or anxiety. Be intentional and be aware of your need to rest and also your need to be active in your family in your community, and in the many other relationships and commitments that you have. Sometimes, in order to rest, in order to renew the strength to help, you have to say no. And personal ko na experience yan, no? sometimes may mga magme-message sa akin bilang pastor, magme-message sa akin, alas once ng gabi, or even alauna ng madaling araw, asking me about theological, spiritual, pastoral things. And sometimes, I do not reply. Even though nakita ko, in video, gising pa ako, I do not reply because I think it's, it, I have to say no in those really late night <laughs> chats and conversations. In order for me to rest. Number two, saying no in order to say yes to others. And ito yung kwento nga ni Jesus sa ating binasa today or narinig today. Jesus already did a lot of good in Capernaum and he will be back anyway. Babalik naman siya. But he had to say no for the meantime in order to make himself available to others. Minsan, kailangan mo talagang mag-say no to some people kung sa tingin mo na hindi naman urgent yung kanilang request o hinihingi and for you to be available for others. Sometimes it is really, sometimes it's not really saying no. Minsan hindi naman siya hard no. But perhaps what you are really saying is not now. Reschedule natin. Baka pwede nating reschedule. Baka pwedeng next time. You need to say no to some people in order to accommodate and be available for others and other needs. For other things that are more urgent. At the same time, ikaw din naman, if people would say no to you, ibang tao naman ang magsasabi ng no sa'yo, Huwag sasama ang loob mo. The word no is not always a form of rejection. No is not always negative. You have to learn to accept the no of others in the same way that you have to learn saying no to others. Number three. Third, reason, third good reason to say no. Saying no to teach others to be self-reliant 
and for them to reclaim their dignity. You know, generosity does not mean over-dependence of one person or group of people to another. If generosity breeds over-dependence, which usually breeds abuse and victimization, then that cannot be considered as generosity. That is something cancerous or becomes cancerous for your body, for your mind, and for your spirit. Now, a certain Oves Mirage says, and I quote, My kindness is not an invitation for abuse. End of quote. When you say no to some people, including your loved ones, you have to do so in a way that teaches them self-reliance, lalo na sa mga breadwinners. Mga breadwinners. So when you say no to your loved ones, it, has, it must be in a way that teaches them self-reliance and for them to reclaim the dignity of their lives. You know, yung nakapagtapos naman ng pag-aaral lahat ng mga kapatid mo, pero ikaw pa din yung nagpapaaral dun sa mga pamangkin mo habang nagsusugal lang o batugan lang yung iyong ibang kapatid. Eh, hindi okay yon Hindi yung generosity. Well, that's one example. Um, so, saying, saying to some people, no, must lead to a greater good both for you and for them. Perhaps, Saying no requires you to cut off your support. Kung, kung, kung dekadekada ka nang nagsusupport, baka it's time to cut the support, to stop the support. Or either either stop the, report, the support entirely or partially. Sometimes it's also, saying no also means um, helping them to slowly provide for themselves. No, hindi naman totally i-stop mo kagad yung support, pero slowly tinutulungan mo silang uh, tinutulungan mo silang maging self-sufficient, makapag-provide para sa kanilang sarili, habang unti-unti mo rin binabawasan yung support sa kanila. And by in this way, you are helping them to reclaim the dignity of their lives. By, give, by giving them so much more, by no longer, by actually no longer giving them as you have in the past. Punta naman tayo dun sa ano, wrong reasons and wrong situations where you have to say no. Mga maling sitwasyon at rason para tayo ay tumanggi o humindi. Number one, pinakasimple, pinaka Nararapat, giving and lending money or other resources for luxury or unnecessary expenses. Napaka-self-explanatory nito. No? Pag humihingi sa inyo, sa iyo, o umuutang dahil gagamitin sa luho, gagamitin sa gastos na hindi naman nararapat o hindi naman necessary, dapat kang humindi. Dapat mong tanggihan. Kahit sino pa yan, best friend mo, kapatid mo, magulang mo, um, kumporme sa konteksto at sitwasyon. No? Uh, kung ipang luluho, ipang bibisyo lamang, huwag mong pautangin, huwag mong bigyan. Ngayon, of course, sometimes may mga nangungutang naman o humihingi ng pera na hindi naman sinasabi yung totoo. Now, if ever you find out na Ah, uh, ganun nga ginamit sa luho, ginamit sa bisyo o sa gastos na hindi naman dapat at merong mas importanteng bagay na dapat pagkagastusan then learn from that at siguro next time wag na. Iba, wag na. Number two, Second reason, second bad reason or situation to say no. Um, and this is more of a reason, no? Do not be generous, do not give, do not volunteer if you're only doing it for the approval 
of other people. No, napaka self-explanatory. Kung tayo ay magbibigay o magbo-volunteer dahil, dahil lamang gusto natin ng approval o magandang opinion ng iba, wag, Don't. Maling motivation for generosity. And tulad ng sabi ni MJ Ryan, usually, yung mga bigay ng bigay at volunteer ng volunteer sa lahat ng bagay, yung kailangan siya o sila o kayo ay kasali at nangunguna sa lahat ng, ng ganap. These are the people who cannot say no because they want the approval of others. Perhaps, this is something you should also heal from. I assume or I guess that there is woundedness sa taong inaako ang lahat ng problema ng mundo. O bida-bida. Speaking of bida-bida, number three, third reason to say no. Yung saying no because you are not qualified. Hindi ka kwalipikado, wala ka nung skills. So tulad sabi ko, wag kang bida-bida. If hindi ka qualified, wag, wag mo i-volunteer ang sarili mo. If you do not have the skills, talent, or knowledge for a particular project, event, or ministry, or profession, don't. Don't. Don't put yourself out there. Even if someone approaches you, asks you, or sobra kang, uh, ano to, sobra kang itinataas for you to take on the role, the position, or the, the, the project, Pero wala ka naman ng kakayanan, wag. Say no. no. If wala ka namang calling para magpastor despite what people may tell you, then don't. And say no. You know, alam nyo si, si Jack, si Tita Jack, you know, years past, 2014, 2015, um, even ano ba, 2016, no? some people in the seminary, ay ilang beses na sinabihan si, si Jack na magpastor ka, pumasok ka sa seminaryo. Pero paulit-ulit na sinasabi ni Jack na hindi ko calling yan. That is not my calling. Um, and that is good. No? Having the wisdom and the discernment to say no on something that you are, you feel you are not qualified or you feel you are not called to to do. No, isa pa niya nito recently. Um, si Kuya Will, no, ng Wawa Win, si Kuya Will. No less than the president. Kung tama ang pagkakaalala ko, hindi ako nagkakamali. Mismo ang presidente Duterte ay ininsinuate nagpasaring na pwedeng tumakbong si senador tong si si Will and in his wise discernment at in live broadcast he explained that he does not have the skills and the capacity to be a senator of the Republic of the Philippines and that is a very ad admirable thing Daming kumakandidato sa eleksyon dito sa Pilipinas na kahit hindi naman kwalipikado sa posisyon na tinatakbuhan, eh gustong, gustong maging leader ng bayan sa posisyon na yun, lalo na sa, sa, sa pagkasenador o kongresista. Nagpapaudyok, may mga ilan nagpapaudyok sa mga sulsolero sa kanilang paligid. Sabi nga ni Kuya Will, baka katulong at makapagbigay naman tayo, kayo, sa maraming ibang pamamaraan. Say no in things, positions, and ministry or public office that you are not qualified or called to do. Lastly, pinakahuli, number four, fourth reason, saying no because you are not the Messiah. You are not God. Hindi ka Diyos. At related yan doon sa mga sinabi ko, no? Na wag, wag bida-bida. 
You cannot be everything for everyone. You cannot say yes all the time to all people for all situations. Hindi kasi Kristo at lalong hindi ka Diyos. Even Jesus in His humanity was not able to be everything for everyone during the time that He was in Palestine. He was in Judea 2,000 plus years ago. Yes, totoo naman. You and me, all of us, are the hands and the feet of Jesus in the world. We are God's embodiment. At sabi ko nga last week, tayo ang alulod ng pagpapala ng Diyos sa ating kapwa. Tayo ang mga kamay at paa ni Jesus sa mundo. Pero sabi nga, tayo, tayo, hindi lang ikaw, hindi lang ikaw mag-isa. At kung hindi lang ikaw mag-isa, ibig sabihin, hindi mo kailangan sarilinin ang lahat ng problema, ang lahat ng pangangailangan at lahat ng ganap sa mundo. You are not Christ, you are not a Messiah. Maging aware ka kung may Messianic complex ka. Now let me say this in ending this reflection for today. The default is not to say no. To live a generous life, the default means to be available, willing, and giving Hopefully, in a cheerful way. Tulad ng sabi ni St. Paul sa Corinthians, sa letter to the Corinthians. The default is to say yes. To be able to give yourself for, love, for the love and service of those who are in need. While being able to discern when and for what reasons and situations it is necessary to hold back and to say no. I end this reflection for today quoting the words of Rachel, Rachel Simmons. And I quote, When kindness comes at the expense of truth, it is not kindness worth having. When generosity leads leads to silence or abuse. It is not a generosity worth giving. True love means sometimes withholding. If withholding leads to growing and loving. Radical generosity is sometimes not giving as a form of a more valuable and greater giving. May we live a generous life. In the name of the most generous of us all, Jesus the Christ. Amen.